morning everybody welcome back to my freaking channel good morning it's currently 8 30 in the morning happy thursday it might not be thursday for you because i'm not uploading this video today this whole entire week i was just thinking about what kind of video i wanted to film today i decided that i was going to give you guys like a life update about some things that i just like haven't been able to get my mind off of i also decided that i was going to give you like a brief very brief chill day in the life is because I don't really have a lot of things planned thankfully because every other day this week has been insane for me I was trying so hard just to make it to Thursday like I really felt like I was about to have a mental breakdown I was just on go mode like, I went to Kansas City this past weekend Monday had a recruit dinner and my internship and practice Tuesday had my internship and practice and yesterday had my internship and practice and like practice has just been crazy this week okay long story short pretty much i am on my way to go get breakfast i'm a little bit nervous to film and take my camera into breakfast we'll see i'll probably i'll probably take my camera and like show you guys then i have literally 20 quizzes due tomorrow 20 no exaggeration is literally 20. Um, i might meet with coach today i don't know yet he might be going to practice soon i kind of feel like having a meeting with him and just telling him about how i want to be the fastest ever and because of something else that i'll tell you later in the video and then i just have a pool workout today so let's go i'm freaking starving i'm ready to eat eggs and toast maybe i don't know i haven't decided yet but like i i honestly woke up this morning and i was like yep eggs and toast today i don't know why but that's just the vibe today so i'm about to drive i'm really scared about driving honestly i don't know if you can tell by the background but it's snowing okay so we're here And I'm just wondering why did I choose to leave my house when I didn't have to? I'm so happy that nobody's in this elevator right now. You know how awkward I would have been if someone else was in here? And I have my freaking camera. But we made it. Okay, back to focus mode. Not focus mode, but I'm putting the camera away. Oh, we found my friend Levi. Hi, Levi. Say good morning. Good morning. Everything? Sure, whatever you want to share. I run distance. I'm from San Diego. I run distance and I'm from San Diego and I want to break three minutes so, I mean, four minutes so bad. Three minutes. Four minutes so bad. <laughs> Bread. Toaster. Oh, shit. Someone's, someone's thing is already in there. Boom. And then we go over here. And we're gonna get eggs. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this right now. What? <laughs> it's upside down. Oh no. We're gonna get a scramble today. Oh my god, the zoom and focus is so good. Okay. That's just my touch, bro. Okay. And then we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna circle scramble, then we're gonna get mushroom, spinach, cheese, bacon. Should we get sausage? No. No. And then we have to write our name. Cat. And then we give it to this nice lady over here. Thank you. You're welcome. And you have to make sure you say thank you. And then we walk back over here. <laughs> and then we check. My we banana. Check, we check if our toast is ready. I don't think it's ready. Slowing down. And I'm about to get peanut butter and a banana and eggs, Levi. See how far I can zoom in. These look beautiful. <laughs> she gave me a lot too. Like this is like a full freaking plate. Good morning, Addy. Good morning. I got the normal bars. Be roll on the yogurt. Wait, what did you say? I took B-roll on your camera for you. Say what you said again, Addy. I said I got granola and yogurt because they didn't have any fruit up there, so. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's so cute. I want to see him fight uh, Stipe. 
This Let's is David Carr. He just won Big 12s. David, tell us about yourself and whatever. Yeah, first off, I just want to give a shout out to the Most High, the King, all glory to God, JC, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah, just got off of a good Big 12 tournament. Also shout out to Panero Johnson, who won the Big 12 tournament. Nice. And yeah, we're just blessed. Happy to be at the SBC and go Cyclones. And, and David's going to start his own YouTube channel. <laughs> and David's gonna. <laughs> Bro. I'm getting ready to start a YouTube channel, so What's make sure name? you subscribe. What's the name? I don't know what my name's gonna be yet, but Rockstar she'll Car. link it. Dave Rockstar. Carr. Dave Carr. Star Carr. Hey guys, so I'm in the study room right now, upstairs. Do you see that? Do you see a Friday right now? I have all of these that I need to do. This area of the SPC is where you would go to get like tutoring, mentoring, if you want to meet with your academic coordinator, athletic coordinator, academic advisor, I don't know. And lately I've been a little bit stressed. As the days go on, I approach closer and closer to graduation and I don't really know exactly what I want to do with life. And I'm sure there are so many people out there that can relate. Honestly, it comes down to basically what I want to do. And my problem is, is that I don't really know what I want to do. Like I've been trying to dig deep and try to figure out like what needs to be a priority in my life. I don't know, it's it sucks because it's kind of something that's been in the back of my mind constantly, considering I'm going to be done school in May and it's March and that is two months from now. Oh my God, it is two months from now? What? And like, honestly, I know that like in my past video, I said that it was gonna be my last year doing track. And that is also one of the things that I've had to reflect on a lot is if I want to continue doing track, like what are my actual feelings towards track? I try really hard to be intuitive and listen to my gut. And randomly out of nowhere last week, this might sound really weird to some people, but it's true. I just had this realization when I was at the office. <laughs> It was just like I knew what I had to do. Like randomly, the answer was there. And what I'm talking about is, is that I want to continue doing track for one more year because I honestly and truly think that I can make the Olympic team next year which is crazy to say. I'm not really the type to announce a goal like that on camera and post about it online, but... <laughs> I'm deciding that I want to be brave and I want to just put my intentions out there and I also just want to update and like it's honestly a little bit scary at the same time because like my goals with track they are really personal honestly and I don't really like talking about them that much online I only really keep it between like my teammates my friends and my coaches and my family like I don't really like to say too much online but I decided that I absolutely need to at least attempt to make the Olympic team next year because it would be silly of me, absolutely silly of me, if I just quit track one year before the Olympic year. Like what? I would not be able to live with myself if I just stopped doing track like before I even at least tried to make the team. And the only person that I want to coach me and take me there is Coach Curtis and Coach Alex. So yes, I have intentions of staying in Iowa for at least one more year and like I'm going to be running professionally, I guess that's what is going on is I'm going to be running professionally, which is insane. Because I think a lot about my younger self and that is also what drives me to make my decisions as an adult right now and finishing school. How can I continue life without being able to say that I at least tried to make the team, you know? Because if I didn't at least try, then there would be too many what ifs. Like what if I tried harder? What if I made it? What if this happened? Like, you know, that's why I think I owe it to myself. I definitely don't have everything figured out. All I know is that I want to keep doing track. I just feel like an opportunity is gonna come in my direction and it's gonna work out in itself because like I had to follow my dream. I have to follow my dream, okay? And my dream is to go to the Olympics and be an Olympian. Everything will work out in itself. I have to log into my computer now. I have to actually do work now. But like, you know what I'm trying to say? And I just feel like if I started 
making it kind of like into a, a YouTube journey. Like my road to the Olympics. That could be kind of cool. What do you think? What do you think? I made this decision last week. I just think that that is the best decision for me to make in terms of my athletic career. And I really honestly believe that Coach Curtis could be the one to take me there. I think that his training is amazing and I would also be training with Alex and we will be pursuing our pro athletic dreams together. And I feel really good about making that decision. I even spoke to my parents about it and they agree with me. I have to. And just the thought of leaving my teammates and leaving my coaches right now makes me so upset. It makes me really freaking upset. Okay, let me do this quiz and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just did like three back to back and my eyes hurt from staring at the screen. So let's go explore and see if we can find my teammates and probably go get a snack. Okay, let's go. Hey guys. You vlogging right now? Yeah. Yo. Hey James. Not talking. Studios. Not talking. Um, so I have a question. Ew, what do you, oh, never mind. So do you guys, one, want to watch basketball in the common area over there? Cause they put the game on. Yeah. Baylor. And, or do you guys want to come downstairs and get a snack with me? Oh, we can just do both. I was just gonna say that. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Did not hit the button yet? No, I didn't. Right. Ooh, this camera is cool. I get it through all the time. Red or green? Um, green. Yeah. Do I want a protein shake? I don't know. Definitely want this. Access granted. Thank you. Levi insisted I open the camera once again. Go Cyclones. <laughs> Do you think we're gonna win, Levi? No. You don't? <laughs> You're a bad cyclone fan. Just being honest. <laughs> what? What did he say? I said, oh, I said our, our kid kind of goes hard. Our kid? Our kid. Our uniform. Oh, I said, wow. I said, dude. That's what they say in Ireland. Kid. Kid? Oh, you guys, you guys say uniform. Shit, that's crazy. I can say anything. I was, you guys say kid as well, right? I say, I'll say kid if it's Shut like... <laughs> If it's like, <laughs> if we're on like Team USA, Team Canada, like the kit. Yeah. yeah. But if it's, it's like. You boom just sounds like shit, you like to school. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking as well, man. <laughs> Your uniform, shirt, tag, jumper, all that shit. I can't be around for you. You should be speaking British, British English as well. I should be. For those who don't know, this is Finley and he is from the UK. UK. Representing England. Representing England. James is from Ireland. I'm from the United States of America. <laughs> Levi's from the U.S. I need to zoom out. No! Zooming out. Oh. Levi's from the U.S. And I am I'm Canadian. From the States. My brain hurts. My eyes hurt. I've probably done about 10 quizzes. I have practiced in about an hour. <sighs> the only thing I need right now is coffee. Okay, so I'm currently in the elevator. Thank God there's nobody else in the elevator, but I'm just heading down to the first floor so that I can meet with the rest of my teammates and do this pool workout. Are you leading us in the pool today? I am. Woo! Mosquito. What's up? Honestly, I came downstairs because I was on the third floor. I came downstairs because I saw your car was parked. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm coming out. <laughs> Through the secret door and the secret door. Say, <laughs> say, I'm Cat fucking Blahovin. Yeah, I'll record if I want to. <laughs> yeah, for that. I'm international. <laughs> I'm doing it, so what are you going to do? Exactly. What did I say? <laughs> 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 say it again. You two are immigrants, so you like really can't say this. You walk in and you're like, I'm an immigrant. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not a citizen of this country. Yeah. 
country. I'm sorry. I don't. My calves are so tight. The crew. The crew. <laughs> Jumping, please record your three vertical jumps onto your paper. So if it's a 31, great. If it's a 25, I need it recorded, Charlie. Definitely going halfway down. Does that make sense? Yep, so I don't want us to go all the way down to parallel. We should be higher. Obviously, we haven't squatted or front squatted for a little while. So when we were doing that, make sure you feel confident and comfortable. The front squat's going to probably make your back, just like Monday, a little bit more sore. I'll start down low. You know the best one. Last year, last year we had like the same thing. He just like he just like he just like he Okay, so I just got back home and this is pretty much the end of my day today and thank you for following along pretty much after our lift today I just went and got dinner and I literally just got home I ate a bunch of pasta and a salad or honestly I inhaled it I ate it probably in less than a minute because I was starving thanks for following along thanks for listening to my life update today like I always say I really appreciate you guys for watching the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video